to do for this problem is show you how to solve for A. So what I need to do is I need to get A all by itself. Um, and to do that, what I'm going to have to do is, when getting A all by itself, i got to undo what's happening to the A. And there's a lot of things that are happening to the A right now. I have it being added by B, and also it's inside parentheses being multiplied by C. So uh, to undo all this stuff, there's a couple ways I can do it. You could do undo um, your multiplication by C, but then you'd have to divide your D by C and your F by C, and it might get a little tricky. So what I'd probably say the easiest thing to do right now is whenever I have a certain property, I want to, if I can expand that out, it's going to help me out. So let's multiply your C times A plus C times B minus D equals F. Now, this helps me out a lot because now all I have is, I look at my A and I'm saying, what's happening to it? Well, I'm adding a CB so I can subtract CB, and then I'm subtracting a D so I can add a D. Well, those are going to cancel out, and remember, you have to do whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I'm left with CA equals F minus CB plus D. Then, I, now I can undo my division of C. And I'll be left with A equals F minus CB plus D all over C.